Hey guys, it's Mary and I'm coming to you with another video for the We Are Memory Keeper um, printmaker. I hope um, everybody's um, up and running and got the new update done um, and everything's working for you. Um, I, there were a couple of people um, that had questions and I would read a, someone's post um, and I decided I would make this video because I thought the post was interesting because she had said that she had bought the um, the guides. Um, I don't remember. I think she bought the six inch guide. But she had said that um, she didn't buy the magnetic mat because um, she could just hold um, this. Um, <clears throat> which, yes, you can. But I don't know that she actually realized that it, it had magnets in it. You know, it has magnets. Um, and the whole purpose is that these magnets will hold everything down and you don't have to hold this. Um, and I don't necessarily think that you need the printmaker one. I have the printmaker one because I got my printmaker on HSN and they had um, the large uh, 12 inch uh, ruler uh, and the mat. And then the um, magnetic little rulers um they had them uh together so um i do have a regular mat down here and uh that's magnetic it's also an old old we are memory keeper one um and it holds it holds this just fine but i did notice when i was working with the ruler this really holds the ruler down this does not um, so that's something to consider to make sure you got some, a magnetic base that's really going to hold this down if you want to use these for curved text. So that's important. So I, if you're contemplating, um, whether you should or shouldn't get a mat, if you don't already own a magnetic mat of some kind, I highly recommend getting this one. So, um... I mean, it's, it's, it, it's worth it. Um, it's not that expensive. And, and I believe you can still use your um, coupon from Michael's. Um, so that's a bonus right there. You can't use it on the printmaker. But. So today I wanted to talk about two things. I wanted to talk about the magnetic mat and the rulers and try some arched um, wording um, because I scrapbook. Um, and I think this will be perfect for um, at the top of the page. Um, so I got some cardstock and I thought we could, I made a design for my youngest grandbaby uh who's i'm haven't even started her baby book yet uh, and she's going to be three in october so i'm a little slow um so i've uh took one of the patterns uh in the new baby and and then changed the wording to her uh name and her date of birth so um, I want to print. It's been sitting here, so hopefully it will do it. I won't have to go out and back in. And then send to the printer. All right. It's talking to it, so. All right. So I've tried, I've tried this, and it's a, it is a little bit tricky. Um, so it's, it's something that you're going to have to practice. Uh, 
getting it right where it should be. Okay. All right, so I don't know how well you can see that because it's pretty, pretty light. It didn't, um, didn't go all the way. Let's give this another try. I would like to get it to start right at the beginning. Like I said, it's... I don't know why it's doing this. It was doing it fine earlier, so... I'm doing something wrong. Hold that thought. It's, it's weird. All right, let's see. All right, so it's going that way. It's going that way. It must be hitting something. Because I don't know if you can see it. But see, I was able to make it uh, do it five times all the way across just perfectly. But it didn't show up very well with the color that it had picked. So I went back in and changed the color. So let's try it again. Anyway, I just think that this will be so cool for um, scrapbooking. I've used, been using mine an awful lot. Um, I just sent out the batch of senior cards uh, for the senior citizens that I group that I belong to. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get this. I don't know why it's doing that. Hmm. I'm, hey, I can't do straight. We all of, or will agree with that. But I can pretty much, seems like I can pretty much do curve all by myself. I can. Look at that. Yep. Anyway, I think it's a cool, cool idea. It says in the directions, if you put these two together, but I don't think, well, let's see. If I can get them both to bend at the same place in the same curve, maybe that'll help. All right, let's give this another go. Oh, wait, we're going to lose it. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. All right, one more time. All right, there we go. It almost did it. it, just missed a little spot here. So I think it's, I'm too close to the ruler. Let me, see if I can flip this over. So have you been using yours for curved text? If so, how's it working for you? See if I go this way. All right, there we go. Success. Clearly, I'm right-handed and should be doing it with my right hand. Um, I must be putting the wrong kind of pressure or something on it because it doesn't slide once it gets here when I'm doing it with my left hand. So, um, so there you go. I just think it's so... So very cute. And there's lots of possibilities, especially vacation. 
books um, with the adventure collections and things. I've done so many different, um, played with the <clears throat> different sayings and stuff um, for my uh, senior group, as I've um, said. And um, I get, did a little turtle that says Happy Mail. There's a lot of veterans, so I put um, I put uh, the American flag across the um, flap of their envelopes for their cards, and and then the back of the card I've put down um, um, you know made by Mary. Um, so, all right. So that's out of this. All right, so the next thing that I wanted to talk about was, um, I think it was a couple of videos ago. Um, we had compared printing on the different ribbons. And if you haven't seen that video or you don't remember, let me refresh your memory. Um, so this is the... Um, we are memory keepers. We are memory keepers. Ribbon uh, that comes in three different sizes, and I understand that in October, towards the end of the year, they will come out in pastel colors. I don't know what colors, but they'll be pastel. So, as you can see, this is absolutely perfect. And then we tried uh, grow grain which, uh, as you can see, is not, it does not like the texture. Um, it just kind of bled into the fabric. It also kind of bled in the, uh, like a shadow. So that was no. And then we tried a... This was um, rayon or polyester. I think this one was polyester. And it was okay, but it's kind of fuzzy. And then this was satin, I think, and it was just a mess. So I remembered that I had some um, seam binding that I had bought uh, a long time ago, and it's a hundred yards. Yards, um, <coughs> excuse me, and um, it's rayon. So I thought we'd give that a try and see. It's kind of thin. I don't know. So I don't know how good it's going to work. Because um, you can kind of see through it. But I know that I it, when I originally bought this, I bought it to color. Uh, make my own, you know, ribbons of different colors using uh, the reinkers. Um, so... Uh, I thought we'd give it a try together and see what it will look like compared to this one here. So let me get this, my iPad going again. And let's go and find those little puppy paws. Here they are. All right, and then we're going to print. Let me get this in here. I'm using the 15 millimeter. Um, and it seems to be about the right size for this. Let's 
is kind of needs to be ironed. All right, so let's see how it compares uh, to the two best, which was the We Are Memory Keepers and then this one. Oh, was it this? No, yeah, okay. All right, so let's send to the printer. And hopefully it'll work. Should have worked already. I noticed something interesting and maybe somebody has encountered it, but sometimes depending on how I open a file or a collection, like if I go into import and where it lists the collections and if I hit one, the other day I hit one of the collections and only the clip art and the, um, patterns were there, the templates weren't there, but when I closed it out and then I went and back in and opened it, um, the regular way, you know, um, they were there. And I don't know, and another little glitch, I guess. So if you've encountered that, let me know because I think it's um, kind of strange. I'm not sure why it would be one way, you know, depending in the other way, depending on what you were, um, how you chose to open the collection up. All right, so we're going to go back over here and do infinite. Send to printer. Okay. Now we're talking. So let me get this up so that you can see. Wait, I almost lost the lead. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, well, I messed up in the end because I r did the ribbon instead of the printer. So let's ignore that part. So, oh, and there we go. Oh, let me get some baby wipe. We don't want to gunk up our new thing here. Let me cut this end off because that's where I started moving the wrong thing because I ran out of space. All right, so there's the puppy paws on the seam binding. And I don't think it's bad. It's certainly better than this ribbon, which was the best of the lot from a couple of videos ago. But not as good, clearly, not as good as the uh, We Are Memory Keeper cotton. Because this is cotton, it's not, um, so, and I have not found, of course I haven't really seriously looked, but I haven't found uh, a cotton uh, at Joann's or Michael's or anything. Um, so, if you have found cotton, uh, like the Weir Memory Keeper in colors, um, let me know where you got it from. Um, because I like to have different options, but I don't think this one's bad at all. I mean, if you're doing something for a package, you know, I don't think that's, I don't think that it's going to make that big of a difference on a package, but 
it's not it's just puppy paws i don't know if we let me go and get something that has words and see how that what happens um Let's try this one. You are magic. Okay, let me get some more seam binding. And like I said before, you know, I'm not going to be doing this for I, I care whether it stays or not. Um, so I don't care about adding the fixative to the ribbon. Um, I just want it to be readable. All right, let me thread this in. I don't have the want, the time, or the desire to go out of my way. All right, we're gonna send to the printer. And they're talking. Okay, so I'm doing the You Are Magic with the different color stars and the different color letters. So we'll see what a mess this is or not. Let me hold on to this. Wait for the green light. And go. Well, it's there, but I think because it's, I think because it's um, see-through, you really can't see very, you can't see it very well at all. So let's do the same thing on the, we are labor keepers. <coughs> Excuse me. And see what it looks like. And do a comparison. It is getting darker as it's sitting here, though, but I still don't think it's going to be good enough. But you never know. So let's see. I can read it. All right. Hmm. Well, it's pretty light. It's pretty light on this too. So maybe it didn't do such a bad job. I mean, you can read it. It clearly says, hopefully you can read it, clearly says you are magic with the uh, stars. So I guess this one isn't as bad as I think it is. When you compare them, here, I'll bring you down. They're kind of the same. So, let's see. Oh, let's see if we can find one that has a dark color to it. Let's try this one. And see. I'm doing the, I'll show you in a second. Let me cut the ribbon. I'm going to do the blue background that has the rainbows and the unicorns. This one right here. So, let's give this one a try. All right. 
Let's see what happens. All right. Oh, well, I just let go of that too soon. Oh. So I wish these snapped on better. Maybe it's just my fat fingers. It could be. All right. So let's see what this looks like on this and then on the rear memory keeper one. All right. All right, so, oh, oh my goodness, I'm making a mess here. Hold on. All right, so I don't think that's bad. I don't think that's bad at all. You know, it's a little see-through. But you can definitely tell what it is. And I think if you were wrapping up a package or something, I think it would be perfect. So let's, let's put that one over here. And then let me get some more of the layer memory keepers. I tend to like this medium with um, this size. I've used the bigger one and the smaller one and this size is so far is my favorite at least for the things that I've been playing with and working on <clears throat> so let me see all right why do I even okay Uh, are we lined up for you? I think we are. All right. All right, let's put it over here. Let me clean out my mat. I went a little crooked on the end. But there it is on the We Are Memory Keepers. And then here it is on the seam binding. So I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that different at all. And like I said, if you're wrapping it up in a present, you're gonna make a bow. Uh, I'm not hating it, that's for sure. Um, I don't think I don't think anything is going to be as good as the We Are Memory Keeper ribbon, but this hundred yards of seam binding was not expensive. I don't know what it is now. I've actually had it for years. Um, because this. The roll of the medium, which is this that I'm using, um, it says it's 10 uh, meters in length. And don't even ask, I don't know. The washi says it's five yards. So I don't know if it's the same ones in meters and ones in yards. And <clears throat> I have never figured out metrics. That's why I have a computer and a phone. And this is, this was 100 yards. So, and I think at the time it was probably $8.
if I recall. So, and there you have it. So, rainbows and blue. You are magic. I'm thinking maybe this would show up better on a piece of paper. I don't know. And then this one, which are pretty similar. You know, let me, let me take these away real quick. And let's see if my, if my theory is right. <clears throat> let's go over here and let's go back to the stars one right there. You are magic. Let me know if you have this problem too because sometimes it, I don't have a problem going back and forth for patterns and then Sometimes it says it's sending to the printer and then it just sits there acting stupid. So, and this is one of those times. So then I end up having to get out, close it, not log out though, just close it and then come back in. And then again. All right, so let's see what this looks like on paper. See if it looks any better. All right, well, it does look better, but it's still light. So this is one of those where you'd probably want to go over it twice. Because... Uh, where's the... Here's the difference in the cards, white card stock and the Mirror Memory Keeper. Um, some of these, some of these colors up here don't hardly even show up right there. The words are okay, but these stars are so tiny and fine that on the ribbon, like right here and here and right there, it's hard to see right there. So uh, that's another thing to experiment with. You know, what's, what's going to work for the material that you're using? Are you using cardstock? Are you using paper? I've had no problem with anything that I've tried to print on an envelope. Um, so, but I'm just using a white envelope. I did have an issue when I was making my cards. I don't know if I threw it away. When I was making my cards the other day for my seniors, I realized that you should not use textured paper. This was textured cardstock from, uh, you know, it was cards and envelopes from uh, Michael's and the, it, the inside and the outside has a texture. And because of the texture, it just, as you can see, it just bled. And then when I used a smaller font, you could read it, but it still bled. This one wasn't... Uh, So, 
this wasn't done uh, with it obviously because it's too big um, but even that with the uh, ink and the stamp that I was using I was having a problem filling in all the little textures so so that's my tip of the day don't spend money on texture cards because it's not going to work at least not for uh, writing so um, all right so <clears throat> That's it. That is it for today. So we did uh, the uh, comparison with the seam binding. I, I'm i fine with the seam binding for some things, uh, depending on the pattern. See, it's still looking fine. And then the curved text. I, I think the curved uh, text in the, you know, is, is perfect. I mean, it's great, but it does take practice. A lot of practice, so. And then it also takes, you gotta figure out the colors, because this one was so much better, easier to, this one's easier to read than this one here, so. All right, so I think I've said this three times now, but that is it. Um, I, as always, I will thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate uh, any comments that you have. Um, if you're a subscriber, I really appreciate you subscribing. Um, I hope you're enjoying these uh, videos. Um, I plan on, you know, doing as many as we need till we all get comfortable and are having fun. And um, if you're still having issues, let me know. Um, if there's questions or something you want to see that maybe hasn't been working for you, um, uh, let me know and we'll figure it out together. Um, that's the fun part. So, um, all right. So that's it. Until the next one, stay safe and well and Happy crafting. Bye-bye.